hello everyone welcome to this video in this short video i wanted to give you guys my recommendation for practice test uh, courses that you should be reviewing uh, books that you should uh, consider especially if you're studying for the azure security exam uh, certification from microsoft now this is a mid-level associate level certification and let's go to the next page uh, let's see how I have outlined um, so this requires that Microsoft expects that you have somewhat subject matter expertise in implementing security controls threat protection uh, managing identity nexus and also protecting data application and networks you know when you are ready for the exam when you have the certification you know you should be able to do uh, this kind of stuff within the Azure environment. Now, uh, the official examination have given you the link. You can just do a Google search on it, or we can just click on it and go to that link. Let's see if we can go there. Uh, so this one is going to give you the details of the exam. Exam. Okay. Uh, notice one thing that uh, based on the time of the exam that you're taking the content is going to be updated around july 29 end of july so uh, keep that in mind and uh, download the exam skills outline below to see what's changing okay uh, let's go back uh, so we talked about this and just a little bit about myself my name is ankan bashu and in last couple months have taken the 900 which is the Azure fundamentals then the next one I actually took the Azure security engineer which is 500 that I'm talking about right now and uh, last week I completed the Azure administrator examination as well so I have all three and in terms of experience I have probably around uh, 6 to 12 months of experience with uh, Azure uh, don't not like the as you administrator level although I have dealt with a lot of implementation type work in a in a trial account type uh, environment lab environment but in the real world I really focused a lot more on the Azure security engineer uh, role and uh, I have a security reader role in in some of the deployment where I look at various aspects of Azure security uh, for you know various type of cloud deployment that uses Azure so that's me so uh, let's go to the next topic so responsibility so once you become uh, uh, Azure 500 or Azure security engineer you should be able to maintain the security posture for a company. It's, it's could be infrastructure, could be network, could be application. Uh, you should be able to identify and remedy vulnerabilities. You should be able to implement different ways to uh, to protect uh, your assets. And threat protection is something that you should be able to aware. You should be able to uh, implement. And be aware of different technologies that you can use for that and again uh, not only that you should be able to respond to security incident escalations it could be coming from uh, various alerts that you have designed within Azure uh, and as your monitor and you should be able to understand what they are how to configure those and how to respond to such uh, incidents and also it's very very good to have scripting skills and automation because you know once you have a large infrastructure and you are doing the same type of work over and over again uh, you should be able to run a PowerShell scripts or the Azure CLI to be able to automate a lot of the stuff that you do on a daily basis and uh, the probably the exam event they will expect you that you at least be like got a mid-level understanding with partial scripting and be able to uh, read and understand and sometimes even like fill in the blank type uh, uh, commands that you should be aware of as as a security professional uh, as a, as your security engineer 
and the other thing that microsoft expects you to uh, understand is a, a very good understanding of networking which is you know essential if you are in security virtualization and cloud in nt architecture there are some more and you can review that uh, web page uh, that we have here they have a uh, more details uh, uh, verbiage for what they are actually expecting from you. Now let's go to the next page. Uh, scheduling the exam is pretty easy. Uh, we were on this page only so you can see that there's a big nice yellow button you can just click on it it will take you to the Pearson View uh, web page and this exam is currently $165 in the U United States based on other country you can check the price uh, and you can um, schedule the exam now, now during this COVID area uh, uh, time you can either go to the Pearson view uh, if they are open and still allowing at least I, wa I was able to go to the my local Pearson view although they made me wear the mask which is a requirement right now uh, I took the last two exams in last uh, a month or so for both of the exams they made me uh, come wearing a mask and you have to take your mask if you're scheduled an exam don't expect that you will go to the exam center and they will be providing you the mask so just be safe and uh, to be on the safe side get your mask before you go to the exam the other option is you can schedule the exams from home a lot of people like that I personally think it's less of a hassle if I just go to an exam center and be done with it for home uh, I have heard that you have to have a very clean desk you cannot have a bathroom back and they will probably run some kind of software to make sure that you don't have any background process or anything like that uh, where you know may be impacting the exam so uh, and you gotta also have an online proctor uh, available say when you schedule the exam uh, some other person has to be available at that time but a lot of people they also have good experience so um, you know based on your experience if you have taken previously go for the online exam I personally prefer uh, on-site exams and as I said the cost is right now $165 for the exam so uh, once that's out of the way uh, for the practice test this is uh, something else when you go to the page you can actually come down over here uh, it says official practice tests for Microsoft Azure Sec security technology so you can click on this link right here and it's going to take you and it's going to give you this particular product okay so this particular product right now it's uh, around 100 bucks and uh, you can get it from Pearson and measure up uh, both of them most likely uh, prepared this test you have both of their logos here and if you look at it uh, it's uh, 128 questions and covers the different objectives and those are the four main objectives that anyway we have it for the 500 exam which is managing identity and access implementing platform protection managing security operations and security data and applications okay and you can read about some more about how they have organized this test okay uh, so let's go back so we talked about the practice official test that you can get if you want uh, I personally I have not used this product I have used something else and which I'm gonna talk about I'm not affiliated with any of this I'm not receiving any money or anything like that this is just you help me to prepare so I'm just sharing this information uh, so official study guide so this is most in interesting let me go to uh, move this page actually over here or go to this page quickly so I was really looking for a book for most of the exam Microsoft got uh, official book uh, that talks about the particular exam this particular book uh, when I took the exam so this is June 22 this title has not yet been released so if you can go to Amazon so a lot of time that's where I go and if you go there you search for the book the book is around 42 bucks but you can pre-order the book uh, but if you're taking the exam right now this title has not yet been released so you're out of luck so there are no other 
really good book that caught my eye you if you find any please you know leave a comment in my video so other people can use that book so i didn't really uh, use any particular book instead i used the official study guide from the microsoft learning uh, where microsoft is this day is the they are developing excellent content so it's again you come to that same exam easy 500 microsoft issue security technologies main home page kind of and under the schedule exam sections and skill measure sections now here you have a learning path okay so this learning path learning path uh, has one two three four five uh, six six different sections uh, that uh, with uh, lots of details that you can read uh, to prepare for the exam and you can click on any of these sections and usually they have uh, other subsections a lot of the times uh, these subsection they will have labs and uh, oftentimes you can go in and create a uh, Azure Azure environment it will allow you to give you a sandbox environment where you can implement uh, different things uh, in terms of security this all of these labs and topics are security oriented so i think this is still the best place to gain uh, all the knowledge that you need to prepare for the exam so let's come back a uh, couple other material that i i used that i thought uh, was super super uh, useful for me at least so I do have a subscription to safaribooksonline.com. You can get a free subscription with them if you want and see if you like it. And uh, they have uh, courses that are always there and they also have live training uh, by different people. I really enjoyed one course, uh, Microsoft Azure Security Technologies Crash Course by Tim Warner. And I think he keeps giving this course time to time so you probably be able to find and if you're registering to the site you will be able to register for the course as well uh, the other course this is not a live training this is a video course that may be available even outside safari books online but this is uh, the name of the course is microsoft az 500 certification and um, this one is by uh, Dwayne natwick and nick Col collier sorry if i'm saying saying the name uh, not completely right but these two courses they really helped me this is like excellent course to kind of go over everything like i think it i had a two three hour session for this particular crash course and this was around 10 or 12 hours of video course but then you know you can go back and if you don't understand one video you, you go back and do that video again practice do your lab come back so really nice uh, nicely designed course the other course that i i think that really really helped me is the wiz labs uh, course uh, i have used wiz labs for 500 and the azure uh, administrator exam but i think the 500 course material is way superior than even the administrator uh, material that they have developed in my opinion so I very much recommend everyone to look and in, look into this one. They may have some free videos. You can just browse through it even before, and they're not very costly. They're like twenty-five or fifteen bucks now. They have a fifty percent off or something. So I think I spent uh, less than twenty-five uh, dollars, and uh, I got the whole course. And it had uh, three sample uh, tests, each probably with 100 questions or a little bit more than that. And those questions, they were also very, very useful. So I highly recommend the WizLab uh, course uh, if you're especially preferring for the AZ500 uh, exam. So if you don't have Safari books, you know, I would definitely recommend that, you know, try out this one. Um, if you like any other course, let me know. So for all the courses that I reviewed, I thought that was the best so far. All right, so that one kind of also gives you the uh, your uh, practice test. So I think uh, that's all you needed to, to be able to kind of get ready for the exam. Uh, one last thing that you, re you still need to do is uh, go through labs. So uh, lab, these days Microsoft, they're, they're asking you uh, multiple choice questions and also 
oftentimes they will give you uh, some questions where you have to actually go to uh, Azure environment and perform certain certain actions to answer some of the questions. So I found that in, in GitHub, there are tons of different uh, labs that are targeted for uh, Azure 500 uh, security. Lots of people, they have created their own labs while they were preparing for the exams. And also for Microsoft Learning, if you just do a Google search on uh, AZ500 uh, GitHub, so if you just search uh, AZ500 GitHub, it usually brings up the first link is uh, a, a tons of labs there for our, uh, the Azure security. I think they are developed for the MCTs, Microsoft Certified Trainers. So if you are a trainer, you probably already know about these labs. Uh, I'm not a trainer, but I have still I still used all of these labs. Uh, to prepare for my exams, to, to go to the exam, uh, to pre to use these labs, you just go to this link, uh, go under the lab, and uh, you have four different modules. They're mapped to that exam, the four different sections. Sections, and under each module, you have a lot of different tasks. Okay, and they will cover cover a particular section of the exam, like your priv uh, privileged identity management, key vault multi-factor authentication, app registration, uh, RBAC, policy, lock, subscription. So they're really, really useful. One thing that I noticed that Azure is so dynamic and is changing so much that sometimes you have instructions that will not match completely with the Azure instruction and they try to keep this uh, content pretty up to date but often or sometimes you will see that there is a problem. If you see that, don't you know don't spend too much time to probably troubleshoot just uh, look at it uh, go to the next lab and maybe come back and once you gain some more experience just uh, uh, you know uh, do it at a later time so that should give you all the labs and everything for your study so let's go back so that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this uh, particular video so remember to get your free account it's uh, if you have never had any Microsoft account, you just use your credit card, verify yourself, and you get 200 bucks. Uh, that's free for a month. Even after that, you have certain services that are gonna be free for a year. Uh, and just practice and practice. Go through all of the uh, content that especially the Microsoft is giving you, uh, so that you can go especially from that link. Okay, all of the content and uh, use some of the uh, courses and, and if these books is available by the time you are uh, you have come to this video use that particular book as well and uh, just be prepared so that's all i wanted to cover so thank you for watching this video hope i have given you some useful information uh, so practice uh, and good luck with the exam if you like this video do uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe and share this with friends. Thank you.